Robert's Rules of Order, by Henry M. Robert III, is a comprehensive guide to parliamentary procedure, providing an in-depth understanding of how meetings should be conducted and organized. The book covers various aspects of running a meeting, including the roles and responsibilities of officers, the rights and privileges of members, the rules for debates and voting, and the methods for maintaining order and decorum. Robert's Rules of Order is widely considered the authoritative text on parliamentary procedure and has been extensively revised and updated over the years to reflect changes in society and technology. The book begins by explaining the importance of having a set of rules to govern meetings, emphasizing that such rules are not meant to stifle discussion or creativity, but rather to ensure that all members have an equal opportunity to be heard and that decisions are made fairly and efficiently. Robert's Rules of Order provides a framework for meetings that allows for democratic decision-making, while also ensuring that the process remains orderly and respectful. One of the key concepts in Robert's Rules of Order is the distinction between main motions and incidental motions. Main motions are the primary business of the meeting, such as electing officers, adopting bylaws, or discussing specific items on the agenda. Incidental motions are secondary motions made while another motion is pending, such as a motion to adjourn, to table, or to amend. The book provides detailed rules for making, debating, and voting on both main motions and incidental motions. Another important aspect of Robert's Rules of Order is the role of the presiding officer, who is responsible for ensuring that the meeting is conducted in accordance with the rules. The presiding officer is typically the chairperson or president of the organization, but in smaller groups, a member may be appointed to serve as the temporary chairperson. The book provides guidance on the duties and responsibilities of the presiding officer, including maintaining order, recognizing speakers, and ensuring that all members have an opportunity to be heard. The book also covers the rights and privileges of members, including the right to speak, to debate, and to vote. Members are expected to behave in a respectful and courteous manner, and the presiding officer has the authority to enforce decorum and to discipline members who violate the rules. Robert's Rules of Order provides specific guidelines for making motions, seconding motions, and speaking on the floor, as well as for raising points of order and appealing rulings by the presiding officer. In addition to debates and voting, Robert's Rules of Order also covers methods for maintaining order and decorum during meetings. This includes the use of parliamentary inquiries, which allow the presiding officer to obtain information from members without interrupting their speeches, and the process for making points of information, which allows members to briefly clarify or amplify their remarks. The book also discusses the importance of courtesy and consideration in meeting proceedings, emphasizing that members should avoid personal attacks and focus on the issues at hand. Robert's Rules of Order also addresses the role of committees in the meeting process. Committees are formed to consider specific issues or tasks, and report back to the full membership with recommendations. The book provides guidance on forming committees, appointing committee members, and reporting committee actions. It also covers the procedures for debating and adopting committee reports, as well as the rights of members to offer amendments or substitute reports. Finally, Robert's Rules of Order includes a comprehensive section on emergency situations, such as quorums, adjournments, and recesses. The book explains the rules for determining whether a quorum is present, the minimum number of members required to conduct business, as well as the procedures for adjourning a meeting and reconvening at a later time. It also covers the rules for taking recesses and resuming business after the recess. In conclusion, Robert's Rules of Order by Henry M. Robert III is an essential guide for anyone involved in leading or participating in meetings. The book provides a comprehensive understanding of parliamentary procedure, covering everything from the roles and responsibilities of officers and members to the rules for debates and voting, maintaining order, and dealing with emergencies. By following the guidelines outlined in Robert's Rules of Order, organizations can ensure that their meetings are conducted fairly, efficiently, and respectfully allowing them to make informed decisions and achieve their goals.